I love my daddy. Oh, you see, mommy will carry and daddy will be the one that they will love. Even Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're joining me for the very first time, my name is Fajura. I'm happy to have you in my beautiful family. And for my returning subscribers, I want to say thank you for always joining with me. And if you're here and you haven't subscribed to join my beautiful family, please do not forget to do that. So in today's video, I am uh, going to show you what I've got in my hospital bag. I'm currently nine months pregnant, though I have an elective CS boot for sometime in January but due to some circumstances it has just been readjusted for the 26th of December and today happens to be 25th of December which is Christmas day that's why you can see me in my Christmas jumper yeah all set <laughs> and this is um, this jumper I've used it for my other daughter and I'm using it again because I think I've been heavily pregnant around Christmas season and it says bombs first Christmas so I am already in my Christmas jumper because it's 25th of December and I have I have to go to the hospital tomorrow morning which is 26th to have my baby so I have my hospital bag here which is already packed so I'm going to bring them out and show you what exactly I've got in this hospital bag so guys if you're giving if you're giving bets in UK it's even if not in UK but things that you should just know that you may need when packing as a first time mom or maybe second because we learn every time there were some of the things I packed with my other pregnancies and I never got to use them so we learn from that so guys stay tuned and watch and watch this video to the end if you want to see what I've got in this beautiful bag ready to go to the hospital tomorrow morning stay tuned and watch this video to the end Thank you. This uh, 2021, though so I'm doing this video on the 25th of uh, December 2020, but I've made up my mind that from 2021, which I'm going to upload this video, that I'll be doing some lifestyle and vlogging on my channel, which is what I am doing now. So I've just removed everything I had in the hospital bag, which you can see that the bag is here and it's quite empty. So I'm going to start filling them up back so in my bag I have petroleum jelly which is the uh, Vaseline so I'm just carrying it this is going to be for me and also baby if baby will need it so I have Johnson baby oil as well for me or baby <laughs> whoever that will need it I'm just carrying them I know most of the times when I take them to the hospital I end up coming back with them but that doesn't stop me from keep packing them to the hospital so i've also got a little baby bat which you can see i'm not sure if i'm going to use it but it is still necessary to have it in your hospital bag so i'm just going to put that back in it then i've got some <laughs> sanitary pads as you can see here you know after giving birth it's bleeding so i've got some maternity pants though then i've got some breastfeeding bra which is maternity bra for myself so i'm just going to put them in the bag because 7 30 in the morning i have to be in the hospital then i've got socks that i'll be using to walk around the hospital i'm just going to put in then i have sponge for baby which I don't know if I'm going to use it because we always don't give baby a bath tea after three days here in the UK. So, but I still have to pack it as a typical Nigeria woman. And like you watched my gender review video, I'm actually expecting a boy. So I've got this sleeve suit that baby will wear. I love my daddy oh you see mommy will carry and daddy will be the one that they will love even me that when i was buying it i didn't even look at it anyway i'm not jealous <laughs> so i got this that baby will wear just after bed where did i get this from next yeah i got this from next yeah i think from next yeah so i'm just going to put it back in the bag then 
I have the baby carrier. This is not a new one because there's no point buying. I have a lot in the house, so I just picked one from the one I used from my last baby. Though I had baby last year, February, and I'm having another one this year, December. So this is a baby carrier which I have. Then I have some suits, body suits for my little boy. How many do I did I even pack? I bought them in pack, but I just took out some that I will be going to the hospital with because baby will need it. Then I have this snow wear. So it's not snowing, but because of the cold, baby will need it. Yeah. And if I tell you that I bought this for Heavenly's Bet last year, I got around this time 20. 2018 and heavenly never used it because i had others that i used for her so fortunately for me i just left it i was going to gift it to someone i didn't know that i was going to be pregnant <laughs> along the line so i did not buy this time i bought it from nest as well in 20 is it next no i got it from primark yeah in 2018 and it has never been used so i'm just carrying it i don't know if my little boy is going to use it this time but it is still necessary because this is winter and everywhere is cold so i also have another bodysuit i'm just imagining wow this looks quite small but though babies are born really small so i've put in three bodysuits now which i don't know how long we're going to stay then i have another set three piece sets as you can see this is a two set this is Sleep suit and this is body suit as well with two bibs, which I am going to put in my hospital bag for baby. So then I just took a feeding bottle. I'm not sure if I'm going to be using it, but I just have to carry it. I used to do exclusive breastfeeding for a start, but I don't know what baby would want just when he arrives so that's why I have carried this for him then I still have some socks that I got for him which I'm going with as well then I have some caps here and these caps I didn't buy it now it was from Heavenly's bed I just kept them to give out but now it's finally going to be useful it's not a new one like it's a new one but i didn't buy it for this delivery so i have some gloves because of the love putting their hands in their mouth and also the weather is quite cold now we are in winter so i've got some gloves as well for him which i'm going to put in the back So that's for baby. Then this is supposed to be for me as well. A, sand, a maternity pant I'm going to be using. I've got like three of that in the bag. I think I will spend two days in the hospital because I'm having an elective series. So in two days I should be back home. So I have wipes I'm going to be using for baby as well. Then I have pampers. I just packed some because we are not long time in the hospital. So I just have some. I think I have like 12. And if it finishes, my husband can always drive to the house to bring more for me because we just live five minutes away from the university hospital covering it. So I have this little towel, face towel for baby. So, and I have my breast pad for breastfeeding. Then, this is my bath rope I'm going to be using. It's cold, and I will need this bath rope to use in the hospital. Then, I have pajamas as well, which I will be using. You can see it says we are expecting. So once I get to the hospital, I don't know how long I'm going to stay, but they, they said if there is space, I will be operated tomorrow. 
if there is not it will be on 27th which is sunday 20, tomorrow is 26th which is boxing day or 27th so i will try to wear this at least for once since it says we are expecting before i get operated on phone then i have another set of pajamas as well that i will use after this is short so i'm going to use this one it's a maternity pajama still from boho so i'm going to use this just after i deliver after baby arrives so i'll be more free and comfortable so it depends on what you like for me i like things that are really free then i got some cotton wool so i got this even from heavenly's beds but i never got to use them completely so there is no point throwing it away i have to just chuck it in my bag then i have my sponge for my body because the cs i won't have to stress too much i can use it to scrub my back if i want and make things easy for me and yeah i have my toiletries my soap my shower gel everything i need for myself is already packed in here so i have my towel for myself and like i said i have all my toiletries and at least my lip gloss inside of here then this is my towel which i'm putting in then i got this three i got this towel for baby as you can see and it's a set of three yeah so i'm just going to take out one which one should i take now make your choice which one would you prefer me to take i wish i would upload this video before going to the hospital but it's not possible <laughs> so i'll just make a choice for myself because i'm expecting a blue this time so let me go for blue so i'm going to go with this blue <laughs> then i'll keep this one because even in the hospital they gave us they give us towel as well so i'm just going to go with this blue for baby this is the first time i'm having blue in my family so my hospital bag is now packed and complete so i believe that most of the things i'm even going to the hospital with are things i may end up not using but not that not that's not going to stop me from packing everything i will need which you've seen me pack so i'm just going to shut them in I hope you must have enjoyed this video ah, and you're wishing me a safe delivery as well so my hospital bag is ready for me as you can see and I love this it's very easy to I used it the last time I had my baby I had the CS and I didn't really feel anything it was really nice having it so hospital bag now it's now complete for my journey tomorrow morning i am leaving the house at seven to drop my kids then 7 30 i should be in the hospital hopefully by god's grace we will do the cs by seven i didn't put this bag by 7 30 tomorrow i say by 7 30 before 4 p.m tomorrow by god's grace so So yeah, it's my hospital. We are good to go. So my beautiful family, we've actually come to the end of this video of what is in my hospital bag. And I trust you must have enjoyed this video. Like I said, not everything I have here is perfect. This is just my choice based on experience of what I've been taken to the hospital before and never, I never used them. So, when packing your hospital bag, these are things that you should just, uh, this should remind you, oh, I need to get this, I need to get that. So this is just a video to like show you, to give you an idea of what you should have in your bag. But trust me, I'm not going to use all of this. It has happened over and over and it's going to happen again. So I believe you must have enjoyed this video. And if you have enjoyed this video and haven't subscribed to my channel, please do not forget to click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell 
and join my beautiful family we yeah we we share love we love ourselves and we would love to have you in this beautiful family and also don't forget to give me a thumbs up leave your comments and your questions in the comment section and also share this video with your family and friends because someone may need it you never can tell us first time mom we never have complete experience because like just like every pregnancy is different that's how everything is always different so hopefully in our next video i will be having little channel in my arms and you guys are going to see him but for now take care of yourself and keep staying safe and remember that god is still in control no matter what had happened in 2020 be positive about 2021 because god is still in the uh, business of blessing people and i trust god that 2021 is going to be the best year one of the best years of our life as we walk into it with great confidence and positivity and keep staying safe remember i always love you bye for now and thank you for watching i love you bye